Well, if you're thinking about how the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has been relegated to the sidelines to virtual obscurity, invisibility even this election season, well, try this on for size. The Congress and its senior ministers are now busy placing all potential blame for what may lay ahead when the votes start counting tomorrow squarely on Manmohan Singh's head. They say there are ministers even saying that Rahul Gandhi wasn't part of the government so he can't shoulder any part of the blame and yet Rahul Gandhi really is the face of the Congress campaign. Here's a full report on how it's Manmohan Singh who's being squarely blamed for everything that may happen. The Congress president honoring the Prime Minister for his achievements in the last 10 years. But other party leaders do not seem to share Sonia's appreciation for Manmohan Singh's contribution. Some blaming him for certain loss in the Lok Sabha polls. The ideal time for uh, Rahul ji to have become the Prime Minister was in 2012. Uh, that was the time when the government had started drifting. And uh, I mean like uh, it was clearly seen that the government was not able with all those economies out there. Uh, they were not able to have any kind of a uh, control on prices. I think I'd, I'd attribute it collectively because you cannot divorce the party from the government and the government for the, from the party. We in government failed to take our message, to take our programs, our social schemes to the people, for the people to understand the import of them. Uh, we, we failed in that. It's the government which failed. This attack on the Prime Minister coming on a day when ally NCP blamed the Congress for UPA's non-performance. The Congress got far too many seats, I mean, which is good for them, I have no grudge for that. But uh, as a consequence of that, I think the Congress drifted away from the principle of trying to take everybody along. Given the complexity of Indian politics and coalition politics, if it would have been much better if they'd involved uh, other parties, including the NCP. The Congress strategy seems to be clear. Shield the Crown Prince from any negative fallout of the party's dismal showing, while putting the residual blame on the outgoing Prime Minister. Sources within the party say that a group of leaders are also of view that Manmohan Singh also should quit his Rajya Sabha membership. This tenable reason being that it would be odd for a Prime Minister of 10 years to become the leader of opposition. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.